Among the style cognoscenti, the names Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen are synonymous with luxury fashion, not TV stardom. Since establishing their label The Row in 2006, the twins have set out to redefine what a luxury line could be. With more details as WSJ fashion reporter Ray Smith. Ray, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. So the twins have really turned out to be quite the high-end designer. Their, their label just keeps getting better and better. Yes, and they've gotten fashion credibility. Um, they were awarded the CFDA, the Council of Fashion Designers of America's Women's Wear Designer of the Year Award in 2012, and that was huge. They won against Proenza Schooler, uh, which was a big shock to many in the industry, but it also goes to show that the sisters have really worked hard to make a fashion credible brand. And fashion insiders, <coughs> it seems, have completely embraced them. Yes, it does seem that way, and um, they, they, they've just been nominated for their bags and shoes, accessories. Um, what is their style? If you had to describe it, what would it be? I would say it's, it's, uh, it's obviously it's very luxurious, Mm -hmm. um, it's sort of this casual, slouchy elegance in a way. Um, there's a it's, little boho vibe, right? Just there's a little, a little boho vibe, um, but everything is in these plush fabrics. Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to be sort of the perfect t-shirt or the perfect fisherman sweater or the perfect cashmere double-faced coat. Right, and so how does all of this, because these are luxurious materials, translate in terms of price points? Um, the price points are very high, um, even by um, the luxury industry standards, and the row talks a lot about the fact that they they acknowledge it and they talk a lot about the fact that the clothes are made um, in the US with Italian fabrics and so that sort of leads to some of the pricing. So they haven't indicated they're making any plans for a lower a lower cost line. Like That's not what designer. the row is about. I right. mean, they, they really clearly set out to be a luxury American brand, and that's that they're sticking to it. <laughs> no unions with Target in the future, it seems like. <laughs> so they had no formal design training. How did the twins become such accomplished designers? It, that's a really good question, and we tried to get to the bottom of that. And um, they really, all I can say is that they've done a lot of research into fabrics and how things are made, and they're, they're astute students, not in the sort of fashion school sense, but in learning from the best in the business. Some of their bags, their handbags, have almost an androgynous look. I mean, they, uh, a man or a woman could use some of them. There's that minimalist. It's minimalist, is, is, yes, exactly. That, that's what they aim for, this sort of um, non-obviously feminine or frilly, sort of paired back almost, um, mature in a way. Um, simple or seemingly simple um, and it's meant to sort of be um, timeless pieces that investment pieces that you won't look at in six months and go oh that's so outdated and how much would I have to invest to get one of those bags quickly before I let you go um, the bags used to be north of three thousand dollars there are some in the one thousand and two thousand dollar range now that's a big investment for me all right Ray Smith thank you so much for thank that. you